Okay, let's take a look at this problem. Um, I see a problem right there. You don't uh, have a closing greater than for the H1. We'll come back to that, though. Let me try to just get this a little bit cleaner. And I know this probably won't look uh, formatting-wise like anything you got. I don't know what uh, Blackboard's doing to the HTML files, but... Um, Okay. I'm going to show you a way to zip up your file when you send it to me. So it'll be a little bit better for you to actually read. Okay, there's a lot of code there. There we go. Okay, I think that's... Okay, so then let me um, put some line breaks in here for this. And let's see what we're dealing with. Document dot equals inner HTML plus grade. There we go. Okay, to begin with, uh, there's a, you're missing this closing here, so there should be a closing um, for the slash h1. That's probably not it, but let me go ahead and um, and run that. Okay, doesn't do anything. <laughs> Okay, so homework is 25%. Um, Blackboard strips those out. You probably had input there before. Input. 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 You got your IDs on all those. Okay, and then uh, this is probably input for the button. And on click. Ah, what did I do? On click. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks better. Where's final exam at? Um, it's spelled right out wrong. I don't know if I just deleted that. That should be input. Um, let's see. On click, homework equals parse float. Then you convert in that. That's right. MT was midterm, parse float, case looks right, document get element by ID, midterm, homework, midterm, those match. FE is parse float. Um, now I noticed you got parse float, and I, I missed it on the first one. You got a beginning parentheses for the parse float, but you do not have a closing parentheses for the parse float. This beginning parentheses here is one for the dot document.getElementById, and this is the closing one for the getElementById. So I want to put a closing parentheses after value to close out that parse float. I'll do the same thing here, and same thing here. Whenever you have a beginning parentheses, you always have to have a closing one for that. Um, grade is equal to homework times 25% plus LB. Did I have an LB? Could be I deleted it, but um, LB equals parse float document dot get element by ID, and this should be labs. That's what the ID is called up above. Dot value close parentheses semicolon. Okay, so um, homework LB is la okay labs. Uh, MT is midterm, FE is final exam. Document dot get outer output div, which is that dot enter HTML is equal to final grade plus. I wonder if that'll work, or if you have to convert that to a string. Um, 
But something seems off here. Oh, that's a closing um, for that. Okay, that's good. Well, let's save that and see how it works. And uh, I don't know, put numbers in here. It doesn't like something. And I'm wondering if that's that plus grade. Um. Hmm. Let me get rid of that grade. Okay. Of course, it doesn't show anything. And uh, why doesn't it show anything? I'll put div, div ID, then slash div. Here should be the be the result. Let's make sure that uh, shows okay. So let me, okay, here should be the results. So three, 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 three. Calculate. Doesn't update that at all. So when I click the button, um, homework D. Let me see if I can remember the syntax. What is a is alert? Um, right here. Refresh that. Which that's assuming I got the syntax right on that. I may have to break down and go find my book. Some of this I don't. What was over there? Ah, was there? Just the formatting was throwing me. Okay, so let me get my rid of my LB. And you don't have a closing parentheses on this value. Okay, let me save that. Refresh that. Put the values in here. Final grade. Okay, well, let's put the plus grade back in there. And see if that works. There we go. Hmm. Possible. 20, 30, 40, 50. I don't know if that's right or not, um, but that'll that's got that'll get you to the point where you can then test this. Plug this in the calculator and see if it's giving you the right value. So I'll run through some test cases. So it looks like you're. Let me uh, sum up what I think the main issue was. I think we had a closing um, greater than here that was wrong, and um, closing parentheses on all these parse floats. Beyond that, I don't think I changed anything besides what um, probably Blackboard changed. But anyway, that shows you. Um, I do this so you can see the, the thought process on debugging it and so forth. Now, um, in the future, to um, make sure that your format's not screwed up, after you got your HTML, if you right click on it and you uh, say send to and um, choose compressed. It's compressed folders or compressed zip folders. You'll see it on there. And then it'll, it'll send that to a zip file. And then email me the zip file. And then I won't have the trouble with the formatting. And it'll be easier for you to see on when I debug it and so forth. Now I've screwed up my uh, zip file. So I don't have it. Um, but 